Are you tired of feeling stuck in a cycle of poverty? It's time to break free from these five things that are keeping you poor. By following these principles, you can start your journey towards financial abundance and spiritual enlightenment. Lesson 1. Spending more as your income increases. When we earn more money, it's easy to think that we deserve a better lifestyle. We see our friends upgrading their cars, buying bigger houses and going on luxurious vacations and we want to keep up with them. It feels good to treat ourselves and indulge in the things we desire. However, this constant pursuit of more can lead us down a path of financial insecurity and dissatisfaction. Buddhism teaches us to be mindful of our desires and to find happiness in simplicity. The Buddha understood that our cravings and attachments can lead to suffering and this includes our desire for material wealth and possessions. When we constantly chase after the next big thing, we are never satisfied because there will always be something else to want. Living within our means is a key principle in Buddhist teachings. By spending more as our income increases, we are creating a cycle of dependency on external things for our happiness. We start to believe that the more we have, the happier we will be. But true happiness does not come from material wealth. It comes from within. When we learn to appreciate what we have and find contentment in the present moment, we can break free from the endless cycle of consumerism and financial stress. Practicing gratitude is an essential aspect of living a fulfilling life. Instead of always wanting more, take time to appreciate the simple pleasures that life has to offer. Reflect on the things that money can't buy, the love of family and friends, the beauty of nature, the warmth of the sun on your skin. When we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, we develop a sense of abundance that transcends material possessions. It's important to remember that our income is not a measure of our worth as individuals. Society often equates success with wealth, but true success lies in living a life of meaning and purpose. Instead of striving to impress others with our material possessions, we should focus on cultivating inner qualities such as kindness, compassion and generosity. When we spend more as our income increases, we are also contributing to a culture of excess and waste. Consumerism has a negative impact on the environment, leading to overconsumption of resources and increased pollution. By being mindful of our spending habits and choosing to live more simply, we can reduce our ecological footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. By practicing moderation, contentment and gratitude, we can free ourselves from the endless cycle of consumerism and find true happiness in the present moment. In the words of the Buddha, let us live happily without greed amongst those who are greedy. Lesson 2. Focusing on the present without caring about the future. We often find ourselves living from one moment to the next, seeking instant gratification and temporary pleasures. While being present in the moment is essential for our mental well-being and overall happiness, ignoring the future entirely can have detrimental consequences, especially when it comes to our financial stability. Buddhism teaches us the importance of mindfulness and being fully present in the here and now. By focusing on the present moment, we can cultivate a sense of peace, gratitude and contentment. However, this doesn't mean that we should disregard the future entirely. It's crucial to strike a balance between living in the present and planning for the future. When we only focus on the present without considering the future, we may find ourselves ill-prepared for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Financial planning is one area where looking ahead is essential. By saving and investing wisely today, we can build a secure financial foundation for tomorrow. This doesn't mean sacrificing all present pleasures for a distant future, but rather finding a balance that allows us to enjoy life now while also ensuring our future financial well-being. One common misconception 
is that focusing on the present means ignoring the future completely. In reality, being present and mindful in the moment can enhance our ability to make informed decisions about the future. By paying attention to our thoughts, emotions and behaviors in the present, we can better understand our priorities, values and goals. This self-awareness is key to setting realistic financial objectives and making choices that align with our long-term aspirations. Fostering a mindset that values the present while also planning for the future can help us navigate life's uncertainties with greater resilience. By cultivating a sense of mindfulness and awareness, we can adapt to changing circumstances and make thoughtful decisions that support our financial well-being in the long run. Instead of worrying excessively about what the future may hold, we can focus on taking meaningful actions today that will benefit us down the line. Incorporating the teachings of Buddhism into our approach to financial planning can provide valuable insights into how we can live more intentionally and responsibly with our resources. By practicing mindfulness and being fully present in our financial decisions, we can align our actions with our values and priorities both for today and for the future. This holistic approach to money management goes beyond mere budgeting and saving. It encompasses a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness between our present actions and their impact on our future financial well-being. Ultimately, by focusing on the present without neglecting the future, we can create a more balanced and fulfilling financial life. It's about finding harmony between enjoying the present moment and preparing ourselves for what lies ahead. Embracing this lesson can lead to greater financial security, peace of mind and a sense of empowerment in managing our financial future. Lesson 3. You think it is too early to start saving. Starting to save early in life is crucial for building a secure financial foundation. Many people believe that saving money is something they only need to worry about later in life. But the truth is that the earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. This is where the wisdom of Buddhism comes in, teaching us the importance of being prepared for the uncertainties that life may bring. The Buddhist philosophy of impermanence reminds us that nothing in life is guaranteed and it is essential to plan for the future while also living in the present moment. By starting to save money early, you are taking proactive steps to secure your financial well-being and reduce the stress and anxiety that can arise during times of financial instability. When you start saving early, even small amounts can make a significant difference over time. The power of compounding interest means that your money can grow exponentially, especially when invested wisely. By consistently setting aside a portion of your income for savings, you are building a safety net that will protect you in times of need and allow you to pursue your long-term financial goals. Another important aspect of starting to save early is developing the discipline and habits of good financial management. Saving money requires self-control and a willingness to prioritize long-term security over short-term gratification. By instilling these habits early on, you are setting yourself up for a lifetime of financial success and stability. Moreover, saving money early can also help you to achieve financial independence and freedom in the future. Building a strong financial foundation through saving allows you to have more options and flexibility in how you live your life. It can give you the freedom to pursue your passions, take risks and weather unexpected challenges without being caught off guard. In addition to the practical benefits of saving money early, there are also psychological benefits to consider. Knowing that you have a financial safety net can reduce stress and anxiety, enabling you to focus on other aspects of your life with greater peace of mind. By taking control of your finances early on, you are empowering yourself to create a more secure and fulfilling future. 
It's essential to remember that saving money is not just about accumulating wealth. It's about creating a sense of security and stability in your life. By making saving a priority from a young age, you are investing in your future self and setting the stage for a lifetime of financial well-being. By heeding the wisdom of Buddhism and recognizing the impermanence of life, you can cultivate the habit of saving early on to build a strong foundation for your financial well-being. Remember, every small step you take now will have a significant impact on your future financial security and prosperity. Start saving today, no matter how small the amount, and watch your money grow over time to provide you with the security and peace of mind you deserve. Lesson 4. Not keeping a record of your money. Keeping a record of your money is like creating a roadmap for your financial journey. It allows you to track your income and expenses, monitor your saving and spending patterns, and ultimately take control of your financial future. When you fail to keep a record of your money, you are essentially driving blindfolded without a clear direction, which can lead to financial instability and stress. One of the main reasons why people neglect to keep track of their finances is a lack of awareness about their spending habits. Many individuals may not realize how much they are actually spending on non-essential items or where their money is going each month. Without this awareness, it becomes easy to overspend, accumulate debt and struggle to make ends meet. Moreover, not keeping a record of your money can also prevent you from setting and achieving financial goals. When you don't have a clear picture of your financial situation, it's challenging to know where you stand and what steps you need to take to reach your objectives. Whether you aim to save for a major purchase, pay off debt or invest in your future, having a record of your money is crucial for making meaningful progress towards your goals. Furthermore, failing to keep a record of your money can lead to missed opportunities for financial growth and stability. You may overlook potential areas where you could save money, invest wisely or increase your income if you're not actively monitoring your finances. Without a clear understanding of your financial status, you risk stagnation and missed chances to improve your overall financial well-being. In addition to hindering your financial progress, not keeping a record of your money can also impact your overall well-being. Financial stress is a common issue that many people face and it often stems from uncertainty and lack of control over their finances. By maintaining a record of your money, you can reduce anxiety about your financial situation, feel more empowered to make informed decisions, and pave the way for a more secure financial future. Fortunately, there are various ways to keep a record of your money that cater to different preferences and lifestyles. Traditional methods like manual tracking in a notebook or spreadsheet offer a hands-on approach that allows you to see your financial data in detail. For those who prefer a more tech-savvy approach, there are numerous financial management apps available that can help you track your income and expenses on the go. Regardless of the method you choose, the key is to make tracking your money a regular and consistent practice. Set aside time each week or month to review your financial transactions, categorize your expenses and assess your progress towards your financial goals. By incorporating this habit into your routine, you can develop a clearer understanding of your financial habits, make adjustments as needed and work towards improving your financial health. Keeping a record of your money can also help you build a stronger foundation for future financial decisions. When you have a comprehensive overview of your finances, you can make more informed choices about how to allocate your resources, prioritize your spending and plan for future expenses. This proactive approach to financial management can provide you with greater control over your money and set you on a path towards achieving long-term financial stability and success. By taking the time to track your income and expenses, 
you are empowering yourself to make informed financial decisions, set meaningful goals, and cultivate a sense of financial well-being. Remember that keeping a record of your money is not just about numbers, it's about taking charge of your financial future and creating a path towards a more secure and prosperous life. Lesson 5. Lack of Budgeting Budgeting is a practical and essential financial skill that everyone should learn and practice. It involves creating a plan for how you will spend your money, save for the future, and achieve your financial goals. Without budgeting, it's easy to overspend, accumulate debt, and struggle to make ends meet. By taking the time to create a budget and stick to it, you can avoid financial stress and have greater control over your financial well-being. One common misconception about budgeting is that it involves strict limitations and sacrifices. However, budgeting is not about depriving yourself of the things you enjoy, but rather about making intentional and informed decisions about how you use your money. It's about setting priorities, managing your expenses, and ensuring that your money is serving your long-term goals and values. When you lack a budget, it's challenging to track your spending and understand where your money is going. This can lead to financial disarray, overspending on non-essential items, and difficulty saving for important goals such as emergencies, retirement, or major purchases. Without a budget, you may find yourself living paycheck to paycheck with little to no savings for the future. The lack of budgeting can result in impulsive and emotional spending decisions. When you don't have a clear plan for your money, you may be more susceptible to making purchases based on immediate desires or emotions, rather than considering the long-term impact on your financial health. This can lead to buyer's remorse, regrettable financial decisions, and mounting debt that can be difficult to overcome. Moreover, without a budget, it's challenging to prioritize your financial goals and allocate your resources effectively. Budgeting allows you to determine what matters most to you and align your spending habits with your values and objectives. It helps you establish a clear roadmap for achieving your financial aspirations, whether it's building an emergency fund, paying off debt, saving for a home, or investing for the future. By neglecting budgeting, you miss out on the opportunity to take control of your financial future and build a solid foundation for financial stability. A budget serves as a tool for empowerment, enabling you to make informed decisions about your money and live in alignment with your financial values. It gives you the clarity and insight needed to make deliberate choices that support your long-term well-being and prosperity. In Buddhism, the practice of mindfulness extends to all aspects of life, including how we manage our finances. By incorporating budgeting into your financial routine, you can cultivate mindfulness around your money and develop a deeper awareness of your spending habits and financial patterns. This awareness enables you to make conscious choices about how you use your resources and ensure that your financial decisions align with your values and principles. By embracing budgeting as a fundamental financial practice, you can take charge of your money, make intentional decisions about your spending, and work towards achieving your financial goals. Budgeting is not about restriction or deprivation, but rather about empowerment, control, and mindful allocation of your resources. By creating a budget that reflects your values and priorities, you can pave the way for a more secure and prosperous financial future. Overall, by integrating these timeless teachings of Buddhism into your financial mindset, you can break free from the patterns that keep you in poverty and move towards a more abundant and fulfilling life. Remember, true wealth lies not in the accumulation of material possessions, but in the wisdom, contentment and compassion that you cultivate within yourself. May these teachings inspire you to take charge of your financial journey and create a future of abundance and peace.